Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I kind of look like a leprechaun, I guess. But uh, I am here today with my super late, super late, hand that palette update. <laughs> oh, I meant to have this film before now, but there will be this update and then the finale at the end of December or early January, just depending on when I get it up. So I did not accomplish any of my freaking goals last month. I'm honestly just tired of wearing these shades. Like it's hit that point in the year where I don't want to wear anything anymore as far as stuff I'm panning. So I'm just trying to do what I can with what is left. I have already figured out what I'm going to do next year for Pan That Palette. I actually changed my mind on what I initially had because I realized I didn't want to... I was originally going to pan the Vice 2 and then I realized that I just didn't want anything that big. Like, I was only going to pan 10 shades and then try to just hit pan on another 10. It's got 20 in there, but... Oh god, I can't do that. I can't do nothing that big. I actually decided to go with... What's it called? The Deluxe Shadow Box from Urban Decay that they put out many moons ago. That four shades are actually in this project. And I'm not going to hit all my goals on them before the end of the year. So I can carry those four on into next year. But let's get started. Let's get started with those, actually. So, I was I was trying to finish both Honey and Hit Pan on Peace, which I did want to finish this year, and there's no way in hell that's happening. Uh, I didn't finish Honey, obviously. I have the most minuscule of pans on Peace. I don't even know if you could see that. So I tried. And I tried to finish Steela's Kitten, but I did not quite get there. I've already repressed it and re-hit more all this pan again since last time. So, I mean, it's almost done. This one will be done by the end of the year. I'm not worried about that. I wear this as a cheek highlight most days. I'm not wearing it today because I filmed the monochromatic makeup tag, so I'm green today. But, yes. I don't have anything left in that anymore that I want to finish. Now one thing I did use today was my Urban Decay electric palette and I did expand the pan slightly on Freak. I just knocked something over. I would not be finishing this by the end of the year because as always I forget just how not not just just how much product is in these but just how tightly packed these shadows are. They don't move very easily. I would kind of wish I'd clean this before the beginning of this video because like I just filmed this look using this palette actually but I did use a bit of this color as well even though now you, it's really mostly been blended away with fringe. That's really all I have left for stuff that I was trying to finish. I finished most of the shadows that I was trying to finish which is good. It's the stuff that I'm trying to hit pan on now that I'm having some issues with let's say. Mm. Had I finished buff last month? I think that's the only shadow I finished this past month. I haven't hit pan on cool gray yet. I hope I do by the end of the year, but I don't think I will. Because it's just, I have to be in the right mood to wear very cool toned looks that that goes with. I was trying to, I wanted initially to hit pan on Alice Copper. I did not use it at all, so obviously I didn't hit pan. Here's the shade right here. Maybe I can hit pan in the next month. I don't know, but uh, I'm actually going to be using these two palettes in conjunction with the Urban Decay Deluxe Shadow Box because it is all shimmers and it is mostly very colorful shimmers, which I love, don't get me wrong, but unless you're going for certain looks, you kind of need at least, you know, some crease shades and whatnot to ground a look a little bit. This look is not grounded at all. That's fine. I love it, but it's definitely a look. Uh, I could also use, theoretically, either light brown or cool gray in here for crease shades as well. But uh, I'm also trying to hit pan on one of my shades in the smoke palette. I might be bringing this in next year too, depending on how long it takes me to finish a shade in a project pan that would be working as a cream shade, of which I have two in here. Technically this year I'm trying to hit pan on evidence. I do have a dip in it, but I don't know how far these pans go down, so I don't know. We shall see. And 
finally, I am also trying to hit pan. I've already hit pan in this shade. I think this is fishnet, and I am trying to hit pan in ransom, and I just have not gotten there yet. So, like I said, this past month was really just a bust for make wearing makeup in general. Like, I'm not even doing an empties for November because I, I don't think I have enough stuff, so I'm just gonna combine it with December because I just feel like that will be easier and probably more interesting to watch than what I have right now. But like, didn't feel that great for a lot of November. I traveled for a couple of days in November because of the holidays. And I just, I probably only wore makeup like half of the month. Like this is the first time I've worn makeup in a couple of days. At least I used one of my Pan That Palette shades for it, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a disappointing update, honestly. So goals for next month, uh, I want to hit at least better pan in peace. I would like to hit pan in fishnet. That is the lighter purple. <sighs> Probably be about all I'm really going to be able to do. In theory, I would like to hit pan on Alice Copper as well. Oh, and finish Steelers Kitten, obviously. And I would like to finish half of Honey. If I can finish half of Honey by the end of the year, I'll use up the rest next year and I will still be happy. Now, in theory, I was going to wear Metallica with the dark blue for December and probably January as well, honestly. So maybe we could see more pan. This was like the first thing I hit pan on. I don't know how you can see that at all because it's so light. There we go. We got some shadow in there. So this is like the first thing that I, this is the first pan that I hit that met a goal. But, uh, I want to see if I can finish it at least by next year. So hopefully by by the end of 2018's Pan That Palette, you will see some progress in that. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.